One, two, three. We're standing here on beautiful Ninth Avenue, which has been redesigned with the pedestrian and the cyclists included. The extension on the sidewalk is like a dream come true for pedestrians, you know, for anybody walking. It's a great day for Hell's Kitchen. We've got hardened infrastructure, sewer and water, and this incredible new streetscape that'll be so much better for pedestrians. It'll be better for cyclists. So it's really just going to improve the quality of life and safety of everyone in the neighborhood. Robert Moses decided that they were going to take half of the sidewalk to create a new moving lane for cars. And that's the way the sidewalk became very narrow. So what this team has done today, on the top of the infrastructure, which is so important, is to reclaim space that Robert Moses took from us. DOT removed a southbound travel lane and create what we are calling super sidewalks. The super sidewalks behind us are calmer and more welcoming for everyone. We also added new pedestrian islands and treatment to a slow turning drivers. These enhancements improve safety for pedestrians and drivers with a reminder to everyone that we share the street that the street doesn't belong only to those who are built. Hell's Kitchen and, and this community board has really been transformed with the new expanded sidewalk space and protected bike lane on 8th Avenue, as well as this new space in the 50s on 9th Avenue. And I think it's going to be really great to see the bustling, hot August nights here in Hell's Kitchen with all this new beautiful space for pedestrians. Our secret weapon here in Hell's Kitchen is people like Christine Berté, who put in countless hours of volunteer work and bring the expertise about every corner of this neighborhood. We started in 2005 and we had a protest at a park, McCaffrey Park, where we marched down the avenue and we said, uh, you know, Port Authority, you are killing us. Pedestrian safety first. Pedestrian safety first. Pedestrian safety first. We had all these big signs, etc. All the elected officials came with us. And from then on, we created check pads and, and, and then we joined the community board and then we have never stopped. After 2005, we had to figure how to get the whole community together. So we undertook a Ninth Avenue Renaissance project which was essentially to collect information from all of the community and create a plan from that. So we are here at the corner of 9th Avenue and 42nd Street at the heart of Hell's Kitchen and Clinton. And we are trying to get the impression of our neighbors about what, is, uh, what needs to change about 9th Avenue. And I will tell you that the plan looks very much like what we have now. You see people jogging? in the space, you see families walking, you see kids on scooters, uh, kids on bikes with training wheels, learning how to bike. Uh, it's really beautiful. Do you love it? I love it. Yeah? Why do you have so much space? <laughs> Save Hell's Kitchen! Save Hell's Kitchen! Save Hell's Remember when we were up on the... Uh up on the balcony shooting Oh court. yeah, I was there. Yes. That building down there is where we stood uh, looking down on 9th Avenue getting footage in 2006. Right, right. This is this was this was the beginning of, of collecting information, interviewing people in the streets, uh, getting people to go out and tell us what they wanted. What do we want? Safe streets! When do we want it? Now! She knows every intersection so I go to her first with any question I have, any proposal, and she makes it so much better. We would not have the progress we've had without Christine and Dale and other people at Community Board 4. It's a dream come true. You really now feel you have space. And it's just like bikes, having space and being protected. It's really, really very special.